fact that Robert Downey Jr. was, you know, being brought back from Marvel to play Doctor Doom. I mean, it looks like he's replacing your villain, you know, Kang. I mean, are you hurt with the new direction that, like, Marvel is, like, going? Yeah, heartbroken. You are? Yeah, of course. How could, come on. Come on. Yeah, of course. So, um, Deadpool brought back Marvel Cloud Babies. Have you seen it? Dude, I mean, if you haven't seen it already... Uh, you know, be careful because we're about to spoil the entire goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> you probably have been spoiled Facts. already, but it's about to happen now. Hit the cinema opening weekend and smash the records two hundred million in like two days, Come and on. now like has saved uh, the Marvel universe for sure. For sure, for sure. But at the same time, I'm still a bit skeptical because you got a lot of things going on here. But we, we got to talk about one thing as for the culture right now, bro. When we, okay, spoiler alert. When Blade came on the screen. And you, I was not expecting to see you here. Thought you were, you know, retired. <laughs> and not just any Blade, the OG. Original. Wesley Snipes. Bro. That's it, son. What? Like, what? Ray <sighs> goatee and everything looking like I'm a glad boss. they didn't put that in the trailer. I know. You know what I mean? It would have ruined still, it. Still, there's a... Even Gambit was, I was good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. And he did the Channing Tatum. He did He's the been full. training for that, bro. He always wanted to be. 100%. Yes. And he probably, I don't know who he spoke to. He went down to Louisiana. He found the Creole of old Creole accent speaking dudes and tried to imitate the olden days talk yeah, yeah. of like Creole, like from the, you know, the the South South. Like, yeah. he nailed it, man. Yeah, that's that French, bro. That's that dirty French. Yeah, it's the French, like. Uh, yeah, the dirty French. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Barely could understand him. So, um, not only that, though, not so, only the numbers was there, the movie was brilliant. So good. The storyline was good. Like, yeah. there's a lot of, like, hidden gems there. But like, the, I don't know. But the Blade stuff, I love the nod, man. He was the OG. And, like, he doesn't get the respect he deserves. And, like, you had the uh, Marvel movie that they tried to do with Blade. Maharsha Ali was supposed to play him. They announced it six years ago or something like that. Never happened. Directors pulled out. Screenwriters pulled out. Eventually, Masha Ali pulled out. The whole movie's going to... And so, when he delivered the line mm -hmm. that there's only one blade and that's me, that was the coldest thing of all time. Slick this, buddy. You gotta so do good. it. So good, bro. Hey, he, Wesley Snipe is the reason why there's a Marvel. He should get that props. We're gonna claim it right you here. You know what I mean? It. Yeah. Because before that, Marvel, there was no Marvel. 100%. Blade is what stuck them off to the, yeah. you know what I mean? And After I, Blade, everything went off from there. 100%. They tried, they tried so hard with like, um, what's the name? Um, Hawk. For years, Hawk didn't really do nothing crazy. Yeah, right. But when Blade first came out, that was the first Blade. Premium. And then yeah, Spider-Man so. followed up with that. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And... Even Ryan Reynolds in the uh, Blade Trinity movie, that the last you know, of the Blade Trinity's like saga, Ryan Reynolds in that movie, and there was a little nod to saying how like Ryan was like, "You never liked me." <laughs> yeah, yeah, apparently, which is facts. <laughs> yeah, apparently when they were filming that movie back in the day, in like two thousand and eight or whatever, like two thousand early two thousands, uh, him and Ryan Reynolds like didn't get along. Famously, they had. Uh, yeah, we had to work out. We definitely had to get the body right, and my biggest concern was being in condition enough to deal with whatever the action was. They didn't really tell me what the action was going to be, so I prepared for whatever that was going to come. It was a call. It started with a text mm. from Ryan Reynolds. Oh, wow. And I saw a text, and it says, you know, I want to talk to you. And I was like, I hate this guy. No, this is a joke. <laughs> we've, been playing, we've been playing this for like two decades. We've actually liked each other the whole time. <laughs> he called and told me, he said, you know, I have this idea. Mm. And he told me what the idea was. And I was like, I don't know how the hell you're going to pull that off. I, it was very unlikely. And uh, I said, well, mm, if you can make it happen, mm, sure, yeah. I'll, I'll come and do it. And he was like, really? I was like, yeah, why not? So uh, this is the first time here being here for a Marvel film. And it, it's, it's a little different because they do it very big between mm. Marvel and Disney. It's very big. Yeah. <laughs> very big. Makes you want to do more Marvel films. Wesley Snipes back on mm -hmm. as Blade, bro. We all, the cinema went crazy when yeah. he came how you feel about Marvel disrespecting Jonathan? Now, this is what we really got to talk about. Because we then we had news of Jonathan Majors getting replaced as Kang the Conqueror, really, for the next Avengers movie. Instead of Kang Dynasty, it's going to be Doomsday, right? With Doctor Doom. 
Now, Doctor Doom is one of my favorite characters, and Robert Downey Jr. got announced. Iron Man got announced as Doctor Doom. What kind of, what are we doing? Would you want your old role back, like your old job back as King the Conqueror? King? Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Like, okay, like I get it. You can make your arguments that there's comic stories and all that kind of stuff, but it takes away from what Doctor Doom, Doctor Doom is one of the most famous characters in Marvel history. Yeah. And they go, guess Find what? a different actor for it. Yeah, make yeah. it his own thing, build him up. Bro, now you got just you you're, you're gonna look at Doctor Doom and just see Iron Man. Yeah, like it's it's such a confusing thing. I, I'm I'm a I don't know what to think about that. Yeah. And you got poor Jonathan Majors out here crying a river, and as he should. And he pretty much came out and said, "I'm not gonna. I never got the chance to, you know, explore creatively and do my thing." And he feels like uh, Robert Downey Jr. is gonna get that chance. Mm -hmm. Is that what you feel like as well? You feel like he's gonna actually, you know, get that chance to play out that character, whereas Jonathan Majors got. Fired, bro. Mm, mm. To be honest with you, with all this backlash, people's because there's mixed feelings. Yeah, right. Because like, like I said, there is a story where they were roommate in college, and then Doctor Doom is actually convinced, convince um Tony Stark to yeah, yeah. to help him. You know, what I mean, build yeah. stuff in the basement yeah. in the college. So eventually, they they switch bodies, like yeah. on some face off movie. You yeah. know what I mean? Yep. So yes, that story is there. I was like, I don't know, 93 or something like yeah. that. But that story is there. But at the same time, bro, it's like you said, it does take away from that mystique of like building a Doom character. Is. But I feel like with all that backlash, they might switch up and do it like that. I Have so. one one movie of him being, yeah. you know what I mean? Yep. And then the real Dr. Dr. Doom, Doom comes back. Yes. As he, yeah, I would love that. Because yes. like, dude, Dr. Doom is a badass. He's a weird dude. He's a narcissist. He talks in the third person. You know what I mean? But at the same time, this story is with him. Like, there was a story I saw I'll show you recently. It was so good. But it was like Luke Cage and Dr. Doom. And apparently, Dr. Doom paid Luke Cage to do a hit and then never paid him. <laughs> and then Luke Cage, in true standing on business fashion, went and he broke in a Fantastic Four building. He took the ship. He hauled ass to, to where Latveria was, where Dr. Doom's his, his country, and was like, just started running up and said, pay me my 200 now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this famously or infamously went down in Luke Cage, Hero for Hire, number nine in 1972, written by Steve Englehart. You see, in the previous issue, Doom had actually hired Luke Cage to take out some robots that were wreaking havoc in New York. But Doom and his people stiffed him leaving the embassy. Luke wasn't having that. So in the next issue, he breaks into the Baxter building, the home of the Fantastic Four, gets in a fight with them, it ends in a draw. Reed gives him a craft to go to Latveria and he's on his way to collect his $200. You don't stiff Luke Cage. Once there, he wreaks havoc through Latveria, causes a android uprising, and we get this infamous panel. When my men reported a crazy black man in the Fantastic Four's craft, I knew it had to be you. And Luke, I don't know who, I don't know why he wrote him like this, but where's my money, honey? Mm, you gotta love Marvel in the 70s. Doom, like all of us, is like, dude, it's $200. In Luke Cage's defense, though, $200 in the 70s is about $1,000. Now, we ain't gonna talk about the fuel to get there and the damage he's causing and all that. Pay him his money. They get in a fight, but when an android calls the faceless one, starts to attack Doom, Luke realizes that if Doom dies, he doesn't get his money. Now! I want my money now. And For it was like, $200, bro. He, and, was, he was going off, bro, son. And Dr. Doom looked at him like, are you crazy? <laughs> For 200 As soon as I seen a black guy, I knew it was you. <laughs> Bro, I love it. 70s comic books is the best. Oh, my God, son. The best. Oh, babies, that's oh. prime. Luke that Cage. is prime, son. Luke Cage does not get the credit. Yeah, he acts like a pimp. <laughs> he was that a boss, was a bro. <laughs> In a <laughs> yellow, like, floral t-shirt yeah. looking at But at the same time, too, doing, doing that time, $200 was like $1,000 <laughs> at the same funny. time. That's hey, a lot bro. of fuel, son. Bro. This dude is going to the He's galaxy, all sorts of the streets. Yeah. You, know you have to get into a spaceship to come yes. find you. Yeah. <laughs> 200 
He wastes bad money on fuel <laughs> for two hundred dollars. He probably broke so much, damaged so much like infrastructure Yo, to get into the building. Those oh comic books were the best, so bro. Good. Oh my god! Stand but I wish place. the stories were like that. Like, <laughs> yeah, like still like that, entertaining bro, and funny. You if know what Jonathan I mean? Majors got some story arcs like that, <laughs> like, so I'm <laughs> mad at disrespecting homie like know, that, though, dude. son. I'm so bad because like we do need Kane, bro. He needs to be back, like. Oh, poor on, guy, man. His like career was about to skyrocket, and they literally they cut it at the knees. Yeah, he's and, such like, a good actor, and then he's he's trying I, to run away from the girl, son. Poor guy, Come bro. On, I mean, they got him running from life at the moment. But the only thing saving him, he's running to the arms of Megan Good at the moment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's running back home. Yeah, she need help Megan right Good. now with that bad movie from Tyler Perry. So. That was they. There's a lot of L's being handed out right yeah. now. In the, in the major community. They're disrespecting him, bro. Ooh. He needs to come back, create or something. Ooh, something. Yeah. 